Brother Mamba here, children of God. Today, I'd like to um, encourage every person who is either a stepfather or mother. Whatever God gives your way, God has already given you the grace to manage and manage to His glory in, according to His will in the mighty name of Jesus. Are you a stepmother or a stepfather? You have to consider that as a privilege from God. Um, mostly, it is known that step parents are very bad to their stepchildren. Uh, you must be an exception if you happen to be one of the, of, of such. Um, you know. Um, we need to be the light as God has called us to be. God has given us the grace to be the salt of this earth and the light of the world. So if you happen to uh, find yourself in a situation where you're taking care of um, children that never biologically came from you, or that there are people who are, you know, called dependents under your roof, children of God, we have a blessing out of such people because most of the times there is a tendency that is demonic. There is this voice that speaks to people to say, "Do not take as much care as you should to your children." I mean, um, like you do to your children. But when you, uh, by the grace of God, are able to be seen as a parent for all the children, if, for example, you are a mother with biological children and you also have been given the privilege to have biological, I mean, stepchildren, it is important child of God that you take care of them as God demands of you to take care of them. Number one, it is God that we save. We don't have to pretend, you know, to um, love our children when uh, the, the, our spouses are there. If you are a wife, you know, you tend to be good when, you know, your husband is there so that your husband may think that you are a very, very good step parent, you know, stepmother for a mother or stepfather, you know, for, um, for, for for somebody who is married to a woman. It's important that children of God, we remain faithful to God. Whoever God has brought your way, God shall judge you and me for every step and every action that we take for them. Come out of the system of complaining about stepchildren. When we have the love of Jesus Christ, you will come to realize that both our biological children and even our stepchildren equally and make mistakes. God can not only select a few who are biological, you know, um, and say they are perfect and give you those because they are not from us and say they are problematic. God also looks at how, uh, how, uh, how many mistakes that we make and yet he's, he's gracious to us. So number one, when it comes to stepchildren, let us save God. Let us follow the commandments of God. God talks about love. If we can do so many things and yet we don't genuinely love his own children, his own people, then God shall never consider us as much. The Bible says a person can have faith, a person can perform miracles, yet without love, that person is simply a sounding gong. So let us be loving to our children. Let us be a people who, if we happen to take our biological children to private schools, even our stepchildren should be taken to private schools. Let us not discriminate because God has given us that grace. God has given us that responsibility to be stewards of the kingdom of God. And whatever we do, God shall judge us for it. So the best judgment we would get is where God finds us faithful. God finds us obedient to obey, you know, the, the, the commandments that he has for us as people who truly show love to both our biological children, our stepchildren, or any dependent under our roof. Child of God, I know that you can make it. May the Lord bless you and touch you to be a blessing to people who are not biologically from you. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Thank you for watching. I'm Brother Mamba.